Hello guys, what's up? Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, the approach for you to work with FBX in 3D Max and being able to export and import in Blender without any issues, right? It's it it happens frequently that um, you try to import something into Blender uh, using FBX and it comes with without texture and it comes like with pieces separate and things like that and in this video I'm gonna show you a easy, easy way of doing that and I'll at least avoid those issues right this is a scene that it's uh, made in V-Ray and uh, it's a very simple scene it's, it's, it's not even a scene it's just a piece of furniture but this furniture will uh, show up the issues that I want to show you that's going to be applicable for any other scene right first of all uh, once you export in FBX you have to keep in mind that V-Ray has specific uh, specific shaders right like every other render engine it has a specific shaders and because of that uh, FBX is a uh, even if it's a uh, Autodesk format, it's a generic format. So uh, it it means that not all the shaders that you have in V-Ray they would be able to be readable. They will be able to be translated to some 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 other render engine, right? Or some other softwares. The, the software will be able to understand that shader. So. Basically, what I would recommend is that if you have a scene with uh, blend materials, uh, V-Ray dirty material applied, or something, something that is not standard, something is not just a diffuse uh, bump or something like that, uh, applying a regular V-Ray material, it, my advice is that you translate that before you export, or into a V-Ray material, or you translate that into standard. And then it will be way easier for the other software to read that because it doesn't matter what you do, you will always have to uh, tweak the material in the other render engine that you are going to work off with. In this case, in this case, uh, cycles in Blender, right? So yeah, let's do that from the beginning. This scene basically has objects and has groups and all of that, right? And I'm going to export first using just take the scene the way it is and export it and you will see what the issues I'm talking about right uh, let's ex export selected uh, scene test scene test right oh my goodness my keyboard my keyboard right Sporting perfect FBX. All right, and now we're going to Blender and we are going to import FBX scene test. Don't tweak anything here, import right, and it will take a while. It normally Blender takes a while to import FBX if you have a big scene, if it's just one object like a tree or whatever it will import really quick but if it's a scene it takes it takes a while but it, it works really well right uh, as soon as you figure out what is what are the problems that you have to avoid doing the steps that I'm going to show you on 3D Max it works really well with without any issue right so it's taking a while and meantime, we will just let me just want to show you. We have one group, and we open this group. We have another group, you know, and then we open the group. We have another group. So we have groups that that's how we work in 3 Max, right? We have a chair, and we have groups, different objects, different pieces, and in one group is the chair, or it can be just one object, right? But normally we group everything and we work with we work like that, right? So basically it imports it here in Blender. And the first thing you can notice is this. It is a 
Wow, oh my goodness, that's terrible. I don't want to work with Blender anymore. This software sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It's because you it cannot translate that properly, right? You cannot translate that. You see? Uh, this material it couldn't it couldn't take the texture but for example this because probably it was something very simple it took the texture it grabs the texture right and those guys it couldn't grab the texture I'm gonna just show you here uh, how is the texture it's something else that Blender couldn't translate it comes like this you know and you open it it goes to nowhere right so in order to fix this visual here you just remove this and you probably if you go to your workbench you will see just a uh, white material on it and not a, not a green not not a pink one because a pink one it means that it uh, a texture or whatever is lost right for example if you try to connect this guy here it, it will show nothing, right? Show nothing because there is nothing. There is no texture on it, right? It will be pink. Basic color, right? Connected to the surface. So, yeah. And this guy, yes, we have a texture. Probably because this is a simple material. Let's, let's check here. Uh, under the materials lot, I'm gonna use, be using this for now just for now you see that's a simple very material just have a diffuse material here that's all and the chair what's the chair has a noise material you see that's why you have a noise material noise is a material uh, particular from uh, 3D Max, so it's gonna be readable just in 3D Max. There's no way the FBX take a noise shader from 3D Max and send to another software. So it's gonna be pink, right? That's the thing, you have to keep this in mind. But talking about the other issue, which is this issue here, right? What we can what we have here? Blender has empty objects that normally the empty objects are used to make uh, what the what a gizmo of the group is in 3D Max. Basically, the empty object is is playing the game of these guys here. You see, these boxes. Those are the empty objects. You see, if you open here, if you open here, each object, each group, these open. Each group of these is one empty object, one empty object, and Blender translates that empty object. Like, for example, if we take one of these empties and move around, it's, a, it's this piece. This piece basically is linked to this empty. This is how Blender translates the group, you know, because Blender doesn't have a group like 3D Max, so that's the way Blender group things, parenting, right? Which, at the end of the day, is the same thing. It's just a different way of uh, visualizing that, right? So in order to avoid this issue, this issue, because what happened? It happens is that because each group here has a location, uh, it has, has a uh, location and scale as well. You see, for example, this group is n it, the scale is it's not. Uh, this is scale up. It should be 100 and 113, so it's scale up, right? The same thing for no. This guy's fine. This guy's fine. But those are scale up. So in order to avoid all of that, the idea is to select everything. Unlink selection. So you unlink everything, right? So now you don't have. We still have something here, which is which is 
this guy. I don't know what this guy is. Something else. Okay. This guy is still group. Let's unlink it. Right? So we now we we unlink everything, right? They are just group they are just groups now. So there is no link anymore on the scene. Right? And now we we'll do another step would be go to group. Now explode everyone. I will explode everything. You know? So now we exploded everything. We don't have the groups anymore. We don't have the groups anymore. Right? And let's just double check here if uh, the file is scaled. So basically, all the files are kind of scaled up. So we select everything. Right? Let's try to reset X4. Reset selected, right? Reset, we reset basically every, every all of them, and then now we convert it to editable poly. And now they are a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, right? So that's what I do to. That's what that's what I do in order to to get less issues. I know it's a few steps, but you know it's possible. To export FBX and import into Blender, I'm gonna show you now uh, how it's gonna work, and probably you have to uh, regroup in Blender, you know. But that's that's uh, that's of work that you have to do in order to translate one scene. When we are talking about translate scene, translating the objects from Max to Blender, so basically unlink everything, explode all the groups, and reset X4, and then pam, export. You export selected. Now it's gonna export everything because the ideal, the ideal for you to have a clean scene and it will render way faster in Blender. It will be, for example, in this case of this scene, it will be you export the table, one single chair, and all the rest, and then in Blender you copy the chair as an instance because in this way cycles wouldn't calculate every chair it would calculate just one chair as an instance and that's all you know it will make your scene faster to render right but we are doing this roughly so what matters here is to understand how to fix the issue right let's go to blender let's delete this these guys here let's delete these Deus, amigos, import FBX and now we have our scene. Let's import and see how it goes. Prob probably it's gonna be a little bit faster because it doesn't have all the groups and all the the blender doesn't have to create the the groups, the empty objects, all of that. And I think it's gonna be a little bit faster. It's not that that much faster right but I hope that this time we will we wouldn't have the issues that we had before and that's why and sometimes we, I, I've been struggled a lot from the beginning using blender trying to understand why the FBX wasn't working and I ended up doing lots of importing with OBJ but OBJ really doesn't take the texture doesn't grab the texture with it normally and that was at least at that time I don't know today but at that time it wasn't that good for mapping and all of that in texture and that's why now you can see our scene is working perfectly right you used to don't have the materials because of what I explained it it's a noise specific material from 3d max so you don't have the materials but other than that it's working well you see the geometry is working really well right Sometimes it happens that uh, FBX triangulates the mesh. Let's see if it's gonna happen. No, it's now it's fine, it's okay. Right? Awesome, the mesh is really good. No issues at all. 
Yeah, that's how you you can import FBX, you can import whatever scene, you can import vegetation. I I had imported so many art models for my for for Blender and then translating into into a, a Cycles uh, file, right? Using this approach, I don't need any plugin. There's a plugin out there and it's really good. I I bought it. Uh, for Blender, Blender to Max, but at the end of the day, I figured it out that is it gives me the same results, you know. It, it if it saves me is uh, just a couple couple minutes for each import, so maybe one minute or something. It, in sometimes even uh, I'm doing that manually. I'm sure that everything is gonna work properly, you know. And sometimes you use the plugin and something doesn't work or something goes out of scale or something like that because of the reset x from the end of the day you have to do the same thing and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you like guys i hope this uh, helps you to don't be freaking out when you go for importing an exp and, uh, fbx and that's all take it easy see you next time